Hey everyone, back at Rondi's today, and for 2022, since there's been a lot of low power GPUs being released, like the 3050 and the 6500, yeah, um, we want to do a comparison on the AMD side for three generations. So today, I brought over to Rondi's house one of my 578 gigs, mining edition, um, a 5500 XT XFX, and also a ASRock 6600 XT. Both of them are basically comparable within a few mega hash of each other, but we want to see what the power wattage and the efficiency differences are between each generation. And as Rondi's holding right now, we're going to test everything directly through the PMD device so we get a true reading just of the GPU. So give us a few seconds. My man Rondi here is going to get the rig set up and we're going to start the testing. We're also only going to be testing two algorithms, one core heavy, one memory heavy. So we're going to do Ethereum and Ravencoin. That pretty much covers 95% of what's out there. So give us one second. Okay, so the first test, 578 gigabytes on Ethereum, fully tuned, and we are pulling just the card itself through the PMD, about 130 watts. It bounced around between 125 to 135, but we're gonna go with 130 watts. Ronnie, what you got on screen, man? Right now, 32.11 mega hash, and it says at the software it's pulling 87.23. Yeah, we definitely knew that was going to be a discrepancy. Yeah. But okay, 32.11. So, we're going to go on over here to my Chromebook. And we're going to type in this information and store it. So, let me get the first bit of value stored in here. And then we're going to switch this card over to Ravencoin and see what it does. Okay, so rondi has got it all tuned up now on Ravencoin. And we can see from the screen, we're basically bouncing between... Actually, well, that was a little low for a second... We're more looking like 160 to 165, probably like 160. And she's running good. Let's go over to the screen. And we're getting right now 14.97, 14.28. Remember, Ravencoin does bounce around a little bit. We're more interested in the power consumption and the general hash rate. So we're talking like at least 14 and a half mega hash. And of course, it's reporting it at 110 watt software, which we know is definitely wrong. So, we got the numbers for this. Now, let's switch over to the 5500 XT and see what we get on that. Okay, so we switched over to the XFX 5500 XT. And for this on Ethereum, power wise, we're only pulling uh, 80 to 90 watts. I think we're going to go with like 85. You can see it bouncing around a little bit. I'm going to go with 85 watts on this. Now, for the hash rate, we are pulling 29.45 mega hashes. And just as a comparison, software watts, it says 58.51. That's nice. And when we put that in the spreadsheet, and Rondi will switch it over to Ravencoin, and we'll see how good this is. Okay, so now the 5500 XT on Ravencoin. Looking... Bouncing around, but let's go with 95 watts. So under 100 watts. And the numbers. We've seen between 12.8 to 13.4. So we're going to go with 13 even. And we're only reporting 72.3. So let's do the final card. The ASRock Challenger D6600 XT. And now we're on the final card, the ASRock 6600 XT, running Ethereum. And we are pulling, I'd say, about 60 to 65 watts. Yeah, let's go 65 watts. And let's take a look at the numbers here. 31.98 mega hash. And of course, it's reporting wrong as usual at 53.19. Let's get Rondi to switch it over to Raven, and we'll wrap this up. Okay, so for the final metric today, the 6600 XT on Raven. And we are pulling, I would go with about 78 watts. It's bouncing around a little bit, as usual. I'm going with 78. Let's go see the screen. Rondi's got it doing 16.32 mega hash. Definitely not 65 watts, but it's running rock solid. Now also, 
on the hashrate.no website, they also have another one that has a clock of 1550 core. And it jumps up to 16.7 mega hash, but instead of running 75 watts, it literally doubled itself to 150. Not efficient, not worth it whatsoever. Keep it at 1450 and you get great numbers. So let me plug this into the spreadsheet and we'll go over it. So here's our final numbers. We got our RX 570 on Ethereum and Ravencoin, our 5500 XT on Ethereum and Ravencoin, and our 6600 XT on Ethereum and Ravencoin. Ethereum green, Ravencoin yellowish. So let's look at the Ethereum numbers. RX 570, 32 mega hash at 130 watts gives us a hash to watt efficiency of 0.246. 5500 XT, 29 mega hash at 85 watts, 0.34. So we, that's a nice jump right there. Now, even look at the jump better, 6600 XT, 32.04 mega hash, 65 watts, almost 0.5 hash per watt, mega hash per watt. Really freaking good. That's why these cards are beautiful. Now, on Ravencoin, 578 gig, 14 and a half mega hash at 163 watts. Absolutely abysmal. 0 0.088 mega hash per watt. The 5500 XT gets a little bit better, a little lower mega hash rate, go from 14.5 to 13, but the efficiency has gone up from 0 0.08 to 0 0.13. 6600 XT, Ravencoin, best hash rate and best efficiency, 0 0.209. So of all those numbers, what do you think, man? Man, I think I, I think the six thousand six hundred XTs they're gonna be a force to reckon with for years to come, man. They are the new five hundred and eighty, yeah. definitely. The fifty five hundred XT is definitely worlds better than the Polaris card when it comes to low powered mining. Um, 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 if you can get them cheap enough and not drop the cards in the process. <laughs> the fifty fifty. The 5500 XTs, uh, they caught me off guard. I didn't expect them to be this nice. <laughs> I mean, I could I, I see myself switching all my 570s and 580s for 5500 if I have the opportunity to. Because not everybody knows about them like that. No. The, the 5500 XTs are basically an unsung hero. They have their strengths. They have their weaknesses. But they're definitely loads better than a Polaris card. Now, at the same time, I'm not going to say there's anything inherently wrong with the Polaris cards. They are aging quite some. They do pull a lot of power. If Even in 2022, if you can get them dirt cheap and have almost free power, there's no reason why you shouldn't mine on them. But if you're paying high electric prices or you can find the 5500 XT used... Or new 6600 XTs for close to MSRP, there are definitely better options out there nowadays. So with this going on, I have two 570s. That's the last of my Polaris cards. I am definitely going to sell them off and move up either to the 5500 XT or get more 6600 XTs if I can get a good deal on them. I see myself switching all my 580s and 570s. Man. Yeah, you, so, need, so you need to get rid of they, some of your Polaris cards. They are still relevant. They are still good, but this new generation is eating all their candies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they're saving I mean, half the power. I mean, if you could put, if you could output 32 mega hash for half of the wattage of the Polaris card, it's a win in my books. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's a win. They're still relevant, but I don't see me mining with them for another year or two. Neither. I'm going to get rid of my last two yeah. Polaris cards and move up. Yeah, yeah. I see myself build, building my whole farm based on 6600. Now nah, I'm lying. Stop. That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for watching. Leave down in the comments below what you think of the difference between all three cards and what you feel about each generation. Thanks for watching. Come say hi over at the Misfit Mining Discord. Link is down in the video description.
Come say hi to Rondi. Come say hi to myself, everyone else. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace.